Hello everybody and welcome to the escape room again. Alright, this is episode 4. Alright, we're ready. Alright, here's some things that uh, President Trump had to say about old corn pop Biden, okay? So, uh, he had a week-long Save America rally tour Saturday night in uh, the Washington Township of Michigan. So, President Trump... He hit the sitting president and his fledgling administration amid crisis at the border, supply chains, inflation, and Ukraine. Uh, this is what he said. He said the stakes of this year's midterm elections couldn't be higher. Uh, he said that I don't think we've ever had a time in our country where we felt so low, so dejected, and what's going on is totally unacceptable. Uh, he said that we're living through the most dangerous period in our lifetime and we have a president who has no idea what's going on. He has no idea what he's doing and he's got no idea what he's saying or even where he's at. I mean, Corn Pop, Biden is absolutely senile. Uh, I've never seen a weaker looking president. Uh, I've never seen a... He makes Jimmy Carter look like a good president. <laughs> I mean, all you can do at this point is laugh. It's terrible. We'll go on to the next segment. All right, we're going to go back to high gas and oil prices once again. And uh, Dan Sullivan said this, The president and his team are constantly demagoguing the issue. The reason we have high prices is not the brutal war in Ukraine. American energy prices started going through the roof way before that war because of this administration's policies. Now, once you get an oil, oil and gas lease, you have to do something called an application to drill. These are per permits to start the work to drill on federal lands. Normally, those are approved at the regional level in a state or state director from the federal office. A year ago, the Biden administration came out and said, stop. No more approving those. Every single application to drill in America has to be approved by headquarters in Washington, D.C. at the Department of the Interior. That's why we have high gas prices. Don't let the liberals, the leftist communist Democrats, lie to you. It's not Putin. It's not the war in Ukraine. And don't get me wrong, I'm not praising Putin and I'm not on the side of anybody that starts a war of aggression. But the high gas prices in the United States is simply because of Corn Pop Biden's energy policies and destroying everything that Trump started, do, started to do to make the American people's life better. That's as simple as that. Now we're going to move on to something a little funny. Today is a black and white thing. I wore my black and white costume today and a little elephant for the Republican Party. <laughs> I have so much fun with this stuff. Okay, so here's what Trump said the other day. Trump says Jen Psaki has beautiful red hair. <laughs> And MB M NBC wants to hire her just because they need a redhead. It don't get much better than that. <laughs> hey, y'all get out and vote in the midterms, man. Uh, what we need is a, is a Republican supermajority in the Senate and the Congress. And what they need to do is they need to legislate energy independence. They need to legislate that to where that it becomes law that no president on either side can ever sign an executive order to shut it down. They need to make drilling 
and they need to make the Keystone, Keystone Pipeline law. They need to legislate that. Executive orders, uh, I mean, we're going to have a series of authoritarian presidents if they don't stop that crap. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, the Escape Room. Now the next Escape Room, I am going to review some local bands, and I'll be posting the links locally, you know, so that the local people can hear those reviews. We'll see you next week. <laughs>